Trade's over. I honestly don't know who would have the better matchup on that one. I feel like Fox having uh, the heavy rushdown like he has might actually be really beneficial against Joker, but we'll see how he plays this with Palu, especially after uh, playing Utopian Ray just last round. Spacing out a little with guns with the Aha, with the Yeehaw. Aerial Gun's very good. Aerial Gun's is kind of difficult to deal with. Even with uh, a character with as high mobility as Palutena, having it in there basically means that you need to go directly to the side of Joker to try to punish him for it. And he's still got good enough drift that he can mix it up with that. Just want to hold it up. All right. Actually getting in there, dash attack was a good call on the landing. All right. Spacing out with back air, Palutena at the ledge. Oh, a little, a tiny bit too late on the there. That was the right idea. That was a good call. Yeah, dash attack. Just do it. Just do the dash attack. Put that shield out there. Stick it out for everyone to see. All right, there. Actually, he waited just a little bit there and seemed like he was trying to stagger his rhythm on that one because I don't think you can outright punish an air with Joker. All right. Yo, that could have been a sick punish right there. So Palutena, uh, both her auto reticle and her explosive flame can be punished like traditional fireballs. Um, auto reticle is sort of weird because it tracks wherever you are when she casts it. In a situation like that, he probably could have run up and forward smashed, honestly, but I can't blame him for not having the awareness for that. That's really hard to confirm with me at the moment. Yo, flattens himself into more nares, nearly gets down and off the stage for it. Yo, wait, what? That killed? What? Why? <laughs> she was at 80! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Arsene's overpowered. Arsene, somebody nerf this guy's stand. Explosive flame. So there's the punish on the explosive flame right there. Even though he was uh, about half the stage away and he was coming down from the air, which has still got the punish on that because of how much lag that uh, explosive flame does have at the end of it. Kind of asked for that, stuck on the ledge a little bit too long. Wishes down on this final stock already. Jen looking comfortable at 55%, though he is pushed to the ledge right here. Yep, there's the Nair. Nope. All right, looking for the Nair, trying to get a fair, or not fair train, Nair trying to get a little bit of percent on top of that. So that was a sick death. Oh, he read it. He was ready. Fortunately, it looks like he got a... Uh, I don't know if that was a sour spot. It's just because it was the lower percent that it only sent that far. But I feel like it should have sent farther. Right, teleport back. Tries to get him with the meaty slide. No such luck. Dash attack. Oh my god, the dash attack is good. Alright. Chasing. Look at all these just back airs. Look at all of this. Any of those mean death. Alright, playing impatience against Wishes. That was actually a really good whiff punish on the dash attack. Really hard to do that, especially because dash, can't, yeah, dash attack can't really be beat out directly. Explosive Flame gets punished. It's a fireball punish. You can't be too aggressive with that. Oh, baits out the throw. Very nice. Palutena does have a very long throw whiff animation. Arsene is out. It's looking very difficult for Jen to keep this stock. Oh! She's on the back foot now. All right. All right. Actually beats out the slide. That was good. Aegon. Aegon just killed. All right. So 160 to zero. Uh, kind of tough to come back from this. But I can believe. I can believe. Now he's got uh, no Arsene. A little bit tougher. Going to try to come down. Actually does get back. That'll do it. There he goes. So, pretty convincing, I would say. Not anything too crazy. Oh, hello. Not anything too crazy, but a uh, little rough for Wishes on that one. Uh, Jen seemed to have the answers early on, and then later on in the match, he didn't really play the aggression that Wishes was hoping would be played into him. Uh, and we've got on the mic, I'm sure you know him well, Austin. Sup? Yo, what's how's going it going? On? <laughs> Yo, what's going on? I feel like I've been at Zeno in like a month. I've been mad busy, so I finally made it through. Uh, matches are happening. Yes. Who's even playing? Who is this? Uh, Jen this versus is Wishes? Yes, we actually just saw Wishes Joker uh, losing 
kind of a close game. Took it to last stock, but uh, Jen took it sort of convincingly. Now we're seeing Wishes pull out the Inkling. Inkling. I'm surprised he's not going for Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, they were talking about him using PT earlier, but it seems like he's been using uh, Majority Joker on this one. Yeah, I mean, he's, ever since Joker dropped, Wishes has definitely been busting out with that character. I would almost go as far to say it's almost his new main. Uh, uh, but maybe. Pokemon Trainer was like the old main. That's what that's we went a lot back in the past. He also has had the pocket inkling that he busts out every now and then, but he's playing against Jen, who's been playing Pal Tennis since day number one. So, yeah. And uh, there hasn't been too much inkling rep as far as uh, people showing up, but John Numbers, I know Jen has played a lot against them both in bracket and out. Yeah, he so. beats them pretty much every single time. Like, I, I can't, I, maybe he's beaten them like once or something, but like a majority of the time, Jen will win that set. He yes. knows this matchup, he knows exactly what to do. Uh, I, I get what he was trying to go with that dash attack. I think he was trying to go with like a little bit of a clankaroo off of that uh, roller. Mm -hmm. But just a little bit too early. Because, you know, you get that little bit of guard point. It yeah, can help yeah. out. It can help out. It can Ro hit. Roller's kind of weird to challenge, all things considered. Even after they made the changes to it, which I think were warranted. Right? Yeah. But um, it's odd in that it, you can trade with Roller and still be buried. You can beat it out. You can get hit by it if you get aerial or if you're a jump squad. There's a whole lot of conditions that make it seem weirdly inconsistent, even though it probably isn't. And, you know, this trade of switching over to Inkling over, uh, you know, Joker seems to be working out a bit. We already got him at 62% on his second stock, still holding on to all three. Bleeding a little bit at 127%, but we have another roller coming out because of a greedy smash that going to get punished by Jim because he's only at 76%. Going to be able to live. Tell another tale. Yep. Um, that's the thing, though, is that he has to look for these roller confirms for a kill or maybe a straight back air or something because Inkling, I know it's sort of a heavily touted statement, but Inkling really doesn't have too much kill power. Got to look for those sorts yeah. of things. Like, roller is like the only thing that will guarantee that kill this oh, early. Oh, honestly? Raw up smash. Honest? I, Are like, we Fox? I mean, the thing is, that's a good anti air. And you know yes. Jim was going to jump into that Nair because Nair would kill. So that yes. was actually a really good call out from Wishes. That actually is a smart cut. Uh, I thought he was going to get him some nonsense there for a second. And now but Wishes has a commanding lead, so he can just play around with this. He, you see him doing these retreating back airs, mm -hmm. trying to get to center stage, keep Jen out of uh, anywhere near center, just keep him off stage over and over. Even though he's at 188%, Jen's the one that's constantly being barraged off stage. And that will definitely do it. Please kill. Very I know fun. it's Battlefield, but <laughs> finally. Get him out of here. Mm -hmm. Recharge that ink, got two stocks, Jen hurting a bit. Ah, uh, this is still... Oh, tries to go for a chase on there because he knows he can't go for a follow-up there. But good awareness to do so. Now, Gretchen, this is a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, so, like, you can easily make a comeback at this point. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's definitely doable. I say easily. It's not. It's nowhere near easy. It's Never definitely mind. Good not night. easy. If you're going to get grabbed on the top platform of BF on Inkling, you're done. Yes. You're actually dead. Yes. That is, like, you're going to get that... Uh, What's that combo called again? The up throw up? That's a. Uh, I, I, I know people call it the uh, booyah. I know that's the, what they the want to call it. The booyah? The woomy? The woomy? The uh, woomy? The. God, the, I, the <laughs> this character can't kill? Uh, I, I actually. I super miss when everybody was doing that with Smash 4. The, the ding dong. The, he, uh, the hoo ha. The heelys. Yeah. The <laughs> I, don't was, th I don't think that was one. What was Bowser's? The Koopa? Uh, no, it was like the. Um, get, uh, yeah, it was the Koopa. It was the Koopa? It was definitely, no, it was the, maybe the bow. I like to call it the bows. Well, speaking it was of, definitely not called the bows. Speaking of Koopa himself, we're going to find out who's king in this set going into game three. Uh, already got Palutena painted purple on this one, and Inkling really likes having these early jabs to get that ink on. That helps a lot in the first couple of seconds. Yeah, not only does jab do a ton of damage, it also adds on that ink just to get that extra defense down for future hits to dack on even more damage. Mm -hmm. And you notice he only got the rapid jabs twice there, but that got him to Full ink, which does a lot of extra damage. Jen already sitting at 94%. Okay, good air dodge to avoid that grenade bomb. <laughs> oh no. Alright, yeah. Well, that know. is that is a confirm. We I are said grenade bomb. Is that is yeah, that is that redundant? That, that, that's sort of that's redundant. That's super redundant. Yeah. <laughs> ATM machine. His rocket missile. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Jab, catch the spot, dodge. You see we're just doing this a lot because Jen's uh it seems to me that Jen's panic option whenever he's like like close combat, CQC with his opponent, mm -hmm. tends to go for spot dodge. So jab, if he just holds jab, it goes jab, super fast. Now jab, rapid jabs in general are really good for catching spot dodges, but inkling especially. And you'll ask people like John Numbers, for example, who play inkling, they'll say, yeah, I mean, rapid jab is kind of optimal because you want that ink. That ink is super she valuable. She karate chops like a machine gun. Like, yeah, it makes sense. 
Okay, but now here we go. Jen at 118% on the second stock. It looks like the inkling pick is not is working out wonderfully, beautifully, I might add. Yep. Four wishes. Yep. Get and some off stage though. See, this is where it can get a little scary, right? Because inkling has decent ways to get off the ledge, but that is a risky one to go for. There we go. That was All a right. simple, uh, just nair out of shield from Jen. Going to be able to be stuff out Roller completely. Yep. Oh, see. goes for the grab and doesn't end up getting it. It's going to allow Wishes back to full stage. Jen's got to be careful because a grab could potentially kill. Yeah. Grab Here. could potentially kill. Honestly, stray hits just in general with Palutena at the ledge are really bad. Very nice DI on that one. There we go. That's just challenges it. It goes off stage completely. Just throws out the nair. Going to be able to catch that squid jump, super jump, whatever you want to call it. That was an interesting option. So he ledge jump and then air dodge down. Uh, gets you a little bit of extra invincibility in the air, but also very risky in that you get way more punish frames. Uh, so, so you notice that Jen dashed across the entirety of Smashville there with Wishes rolling away. But Jen didn't commit to anything. So the reason for that is I think he just wanted to see what Wishes was going to do. So next time that happens, you know, it becomes like a mind game. It becomes like a mix-up. You know, maybe he'll do it again. Maybe he'll try something different. And Jen will capitalize on that. Oh, yeah. Going for a download on an opponent as opposed to trying to chase something oh. that probably won't have too many fruits is underrated. It's a really good tactic to do sometimes. Now, Jen tacking on that big boy damage. Already got him at 39. Yep. Going to avoid that grenade. 144. Speaking of big boy damage, though, sitting at 153. Oh, he did not need to go for that up smash. Yeah. That was a little too hard of a read. The thing is, he had the right idea, just a hair too slow, because that would work if he times it right. Mm -hmm. That's right. not going to kill. No, yeah, not even close. Tack on some damage, 170%. Back air actually got the job done. Yeah, just barely, though. That's the funny thing. Is I mean, that like I said, we always make fun of Inkling's kill power, but <laughs> eventually she or he will kill. Oh, that was oh. actually, yes, I've seen that a lot. That's the uh, back air, explosive flame follow up with, oh, I thought that had got him for a second there. Yeah, it looks like we narrowly avoiding that grenade. I wonder if the explosion had a delay there, because it looked like it exploded on him, but well, then it's, he It's all based on how she spin. throws it, right? That's true. Okay, That's true. here we go. Sitting at very low ink, probably really wants to get that stage back to have a little bit of a charge now, of time. Now, I get why Jen went for the down air off stage. He wanted to end the stock and try to time out when which is going to go for the up B. However, yep. Neutral Air might have been the safer option. Yes, it wouldn't have killed, but it would have put her back off stage again. Just yes. so he could increase the pressure, especially at this chance when he's at 84%. He needs to he, he needs to play as safe as possible, try to get these stocks without taking too much damage. He wants to take home this W, because right now, it's looking like this is going towards which side he's going to be facing off against Nick C in Winter's Finals. Mm -hmm. And that Nair off stage too, even if it's you know a little bit more of an investment, it's less risky, and it still has a great reward, especially at 140% like that. He Again, still went for it. Jen is jumping. Yes. He, that's why. Every single time you see Jen going for this jump Nair out of shield and Wishes is calling it out every single time with that up smash. Wishes going for the setup. I yeah. was waiting for the tomahawk on that one, but he goes for the bear. Now you see Jen is tilting his shield too. He does not want to get shield poked by this, which is a very real danger with Inkling's back air. Okay, again, back air out of shield just pushes him out. Jen trying to close this out with a Nair. He needs to take the stock now. There, we there go. it is. No, no he what? lives? My man, what? living 157 percent with maximum range. Right. There we go. Now he can just go for the easy bait, drag off yes. there, get that stock. But he is bleeding, man. Yep. But here okay. we go. Started something beautiful. Might have had yep. too much rage to try to get that confirmed to keep going, or he just got a little bit of a flub. It did look like he was trying to chase there on the restand to see if he went for a roll or anything, but wishes wasn't biting. And Jen was kind of camping around that platform in the mid. Mid stage because he knows if you're mid air on the top platform, roller can't connect with you. Yes. Um, there's no fear of grab either because grab won't kill at this point. Well, actually, 178 the, on the edge. 178, a lot of things will start killing. And the big yeah. thing, right, is that roller is absolutely beaten by just being in the air, but there we go. That inkling wishes. back air. That inkling back air will be there. Disjointed, fast, difficult to whisk, punish, difficult to punish on landing. It's a really good tool. It seems to me that Wishes just wasn't letting Jen play the game. I felt like every single time Jen went for any answer, to him it felt like the incorrect answer. You mm -hmm. saw him go for jump at a shield. There was an up smash with his name waiting on it. Great, fantastic anti-air. Mm -hmm. You see him go for a spot dodge. He waits for it, hits him with the back air. Or just waits for him, goes for the rapid jab, gets the grab afterwards. My man was just schmoovin', putting New Jersey on the map here at Zeno. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was kind of hoping for New York City to defend us a little bit better, but you know what? We <laughs> still got Nixie. We still got Yo. Nixie. So no, no, no. He took it to game three. Don't knock Jen like that. No, nah, I'm going to knock him, but, man. Jen played better, man. But. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I love you, Jen.
but... <laughs> okay, so Wishes sitting very nicely, very pretty in Winner's Finals. Mm -hmm. Kind of making New York City look a little free, in my opinion. Uh, it hasn't really encountered too much of a challenge. Yes, it was Game 3, but those last two games are pretty dominant. In my they were, opinion. they were. That Game 1 was pretty dominant in Jen's favor, and then he pulled out the inkling and looked yeah. like he didn't know what to do in the matchup. Or rather, he was getting hit with stuff that he wasn't familiar with, right? Because sometimes when you're playing against inkling, you just get rolling, I'm right? Gonna, I'm just going to raise this a bit, because yes. I feel like I'm... Very, I'm just sitting. Oh yeah, I can't raise it. It's yeah, over. I mean, it's over. I'll just sit back here. This yeah, is all, yeah you're, you you're hella tall anyway. There you go. So you just 